an island of extinct animals. Mighty volcanic peaks. Rainforest. An island of opposites. Orangutans, our furry cousins. The single reason we decided to visit Sumatra. Where else do you find these amazing animals of ours but the rainforest? This is why our first adventure is a trek through the mysterious green jungle of Gunung Loiser National Park. The national park is located in the Barisan Mountains between the provinces of North Sumatra and Aceh. Growing up, they're not growing down. Typical of our jungle is rocky. Our hills is rocky. So just few meters soil, the rest is rock. That's why the root is cannot going down. So that's why they growing up. Maybe in the one part there you can yeah, see the can big, point. big one. Yes. Yeah. The mama is over there. Yeah? The area which covers nearly 8,000 square kilometers, is currently inhabited by about 5,000 orangutans. Entry into the jungle requires a permit, and though sightings of orangutans and other wildlife can never be guaranteed, using a local guide can drastically improve your chances. So that's why they're just building the new nest and try to sleep again. Uh -huh. But the normal orangutan, they will active. When they get some Here, men, yeah? So this, this is like the young one, the young honeywell. And the nails yeah. is more bigger than this. And they're aggressive. And um, they run away from the people. Sometimes they run away from the people, but if they feel threatened, they will try to attack us. So like here, the honey bear is sized like a dog. It's a black bear? Yeah, the black mm -hmm. one. It's like the size, the like, size a dog. like sun bear? Mm. Sun bear is bigger? Sun bear is bigger. Mm -hmm. Here, like just like a dog, but yeah. they have a big belly. Mm -hmm. I think they are too much drink beer, so they have a big belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they calm down. Again. Thomas leaf monkeys are also friendly inhabitants of the jungle. They are small creatures endemic to North Sumatra, with a distinctive Mohawk hairstyle and loud calls that are heard at great distance. On this tree, lot of orangutan. Before you see the nest everywhere. On top there. That's many orangutan. Oh, don't make eye contact. Uh -oh. <laughs> this tropical rainforest is full of life, and soon we meet the always curious and avid long nosed makaki. They are not afraid of us at all, and they are happy to stage a real jungle show. Named after Lausa Mountain, the national park covers a wide range of ecosystems. It is classified by UNESCO as one of the most important and biologically diverse areas in the world. Perfect terrain for the conservation of animal species. So this one is a resin tree, like the first we saw the big one. And this one is Triangle Picus Benjamin. How they kill the tree? The root twist to the trunk and suck the protein from the tree. And step by step, the tree will be die. So that means that the big tree that die not for nothing, but they die for something. This is for our lunch later, yeah? This rambutan. And mandarin. There's the first time for everything. Even a snack in the middle of the jungle. The smell of our food travels on the air and draws the attention and unwavering appetite of hungry macaques. Like the monkey, 
They like stealing as well, but they like to stealing the food. They not stealing your camera. Okay. This I not know just banana. for the picture. I do. I know banana. I know uh, mandarin. Yeah. And tell me what's this? I didn't eat this. This one. Yeah. This one we call here rambutan. Okay. Show me how to eat it. I want to try. Yeah, you can try, but that's the seed inside. Yeah, here. Yeah, just eat the white things. That's really good. Your local people who sell fruits, mm -hmm. they should show us the tourists. Yeah, you, you know how to eat some fruit. Mm. I, I never buy fruit because I don't know how to eat it. <laughs> yeah, it. How do you know where you are? Look, the same to me, the forest. Huh? So are you doing this like three years already? Yeah. We are learning about the main attraction of the rainforest. From the green bushes appears a hairy figure who bravely and daringly asks for food. We soon realize that it isn't asking, but demanding. If we put her deeper in the jungle, she won't come back. She will come back yeah. one day, yeah. but she used to wild fruit already. Mm -hmm. Even she like to take the fruit, she will not push you. Mm -hmm. I mean, she will not try to chasing you for the food yeah. because she know which tree has a good food, yeah. which tree has a nice food. Well, we were looking at Mina from a safe distance. The surprises are not over, as we inadvertently meet another resident of this rainforest. You have tissue with you? How long so, so it fell down? Oh, I can take it. So, do you have a tissue with you? Jungle lunch. Nasi goreng, eh? Oh, you did great. <laughs> yes. Yeah, some picture is blur, yeah? No, because they're okay. Nice picture. Huh? She looks very strong. So, like orangutan, oh. for the female one, they are photo four times stronger than human being yeah. and the male oh one God. is seven times stronger than human being yeah this is the male one yeah. Yeah, this is from what what's this mm. i don't know like lobster uh-huh the small one yeah yeah This is the border, yeah? Don't get closer to me, otherwise I hit you. <laughs> if you look closely, the still jungle is full to the brim with life. With proper attention, oh animals that would be hidden from the eyes begin to appear. <laughs> oh. The route is demanding and requires quite a few skills. But to meet the orangutans, we are ready to do just about anything. You should always keep to a distance of 10 meters with any wildlife. Humans should move away immediately if an orangutan approaches. 
The motto of any jungle adventure is take pictures, leave only your footsteps. We did it! Our guide took us safely out of the jungle after a full day of exploring. Again, moving, going to watching the elephant. Yeah, I have the camera. Do you think it's over? So who is the driver? We still have an adrenaline brush on the way back. This one's going to be a little wet. Walking in jungle, see the animal walking together in Bukit Lawang, eating together, rafting together, everything together in Bukit Lawang. Jungle track, jungle track in Bukit Lawang. See the monkey, see the bird, see your animal. There are also many opportunities for river activities in the rainforests of Sumatra. These include the so-called tubing or tube rafting, one of the main attractions on the Bohorok River which runs through the small village of Bukit Lawang. The river flows through the village and is a popular tubing spot. Improvised rafts are made up of large tubes or inflated truck tires, skillfully navigated by experienced local guides. Tubing is a fun and incredibly adrenaline-filled adventure that lets you return to the village after a full day of jungle exploration. You can rent these big tubes at any time in the village and enjoy the river on your own. We managed this unusual water sport perfectly. Our fun, highly educated guide Nerden happily took us back to the banks of the Bohorak River, to the small village of Bukit Lawang. This is our first stop on our Sumatra adventure. Bukit Lawang is a small tourist village on the bank of the Bohorak River in northern Sumatra, 86 kilometers northwest of the city of Medan. It is known as the largest animal sanctuary of Sumatran orangutans and also the main access point to the Gunung Loiza National Park. Hello. A flash flood hit Bukit Lawang on the 2nd of November 2003. The disaster destroyed over 400 houses, three mosques, and eight bridges. 239 people were killed and around 1,400 locals lost their homes. Thanks to several international cooperation agencies, the site was rebuilt again in July 2004. <laughs> The main means of transportation, and also the cheapest, is the so-called tuk-tuk. It goes without saying that we must test this unusual taxi. 
A friendly local takes us to the main attraction on Friday mornings in Bukit Lawang, the local market. Just like the rest of Asia, the market is something special here. Every Friday, people from the village gather in one place and sell a variety of products that they either produce themselves or resell. Bargains are ripe for the taking. People are socializing. And besides the importance of trading, this village gathering is the most important event of the week. If you think the market has fascinated us, our accommodation has left us speechless. Rainforest Guest House. The family-run guest house is located in a beautiful riverfront location. On the upper floor of a mostly wooden building is a balcony on which the sometimes annoying macaques keep us company. The rooms are small and jungle themed. Tropical bloodsucker protection is provided. And in the bathroom, which is typically Asian, you are on your own. The outdoor dining room is a great place to hang out with the locals in the evenings. There is no pool. However, you can chill in the refreshingly cool river that is only a few meters from our accommodation. We already thoroughly explored the village of Bukit Lawang, met with its amicable residents, and tasted excellent local cuisine. Now we decide on a slightly unusual visit. During a lesson, we will disrupt students at the village elementary school. My name is Brigitta. Brigitta, yes. And this is Thomas. 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 And you my name. Where is this? Where is it? We are from Europe. Europe. One small country. Europe. Slovenia. You don't know Slovenia. Australia, Europa. 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 Slovenia. Europa. Small country, little country, yeah, very far. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. But the basic, yeah, the basic, basic English, yeah. The school break is a little different from our own. There is a tense gambling in the yard, and prizes are goldfish in small plastic bags. In Indonesia, children have to go to school six days a week. They need to wear uniforms, and they need to wear black, closed-off shoes with laces. The first six years of primary school are followed by three years of lower high school, and a further three years of upper high school. 
Primary school is a general education, while lower high school is vocational education focused on a specific skill or job. For the primary school, there are no tuition fees, but schools are creative in finding ways to charge extra costs. The children studying at lower or upper high school need to go to villages outside of Bukit Loang, which creates extra transportation costs. Thus, the costs for the children's education consists of books, transportation, uniforms, and tuition fees. And when the school break is over, an orderly queue and back to the class one by one. He who doesn't listen can come into the class. After a wholesome time singing songs, group photography, and hanging out with amazing Sumatran children, we continue our journey with a renewed sense of gratefulness. Toruza, <laughs> Chile. Where do you come from? Slovenia. Slovenia. This time, we are surprised by some slightly older children. On the riverbank, we meet village teenagers having fun in the water, as only they know how. Bukit Labang offered us a lot, enriched us with new friends, and gave us the cognition that human and nature can only exist in harmony. We saw the orangutans, learned secrets of the tropical forest, but now it's time to visit more beautiful and endangered animals of Sumatra. We'll find those in Tangahan, our next destination. The roads are bad, and it's best to close your eyes when crossing rivers. Tangahan is well known as the hidden paradise of Gunung Loise National Park. It is an ecotourism area in the Langkat district of northern Sumatra and is located along the Kualsa Bula River next to dense rainforest, just two and a half hours from Bukit Lawan. This tiny remote village was built on the back of the logging trade in the 1980s and 1990s. In 2001, the local community became aware of the damaging impacts of unscrupulous deforestation and banded together to form the Tangakan Tourist Institute. The TTI introduced regulations prohibiting the exploitation of the surrounding rainforest and created the Conservation Response Unit, a team that helps safeguard the national park from commercial abuse and detrimental policy. A traditional festival is held in the village to promote this hidden pearl of Sumatra.
tradition. Some old people in Sumatra, they have been look, they have a red color on the mouth. So it is. This is metal nut. Yeah, it is. And then we make some powder. This is the powder. So normally when you are walk around in the Carolis Island, the mother they will be eating. So they mix and then this is they make it by the lips. Yeah. Yeah. And then how to do it? So, so I will showing you. So you can smell some leaves, something like this. It's a little leaf. So our friend they try to eat. So the mouth is pretty red color. Yeah. Cigar for the mother in the village. Yeah. And then they always eating like this. So uh, this one. When that somebody come, so we will it's like really we sorry, yeah. We put like this yes. to that uh, people to like welcoming. Yes. We use the right, and then is it from the pandan leaves? Yes. So they put the boil and then keep dry, and then the mother from the village they make it so like this. And then this is like a matra. Yeah, yeah. They don't have the bed in the house. They make it from the nature. Yeah. yeah. So look at it. Oh. How do you wash? I uh, is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is. Easy, do you so want to try it? No. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, and is it the traditional house from yeah. the Karuni? Yeah. It is. So the black hair, they take from the uh, sugar cane fruit. Palm, the hair they take, they make from the roof, and then this can be a uh, hundred years. You don't need to change the roof. Yeah, and then we make it like this. So also to make the economic for the local people, they can grow in the economy. Yes. 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 Smile for me. <laughs> so is it? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. So normally the people just know elephant and forest, but we like to show it to the people from around the world. We have also some air like the ground. How long do you have to walk? Pardon? How long do you need to eat this? It depends. If I'm still happiness, I just eat it. <laughs> it is. Uh, but if you also they have drug, because if you too much eating, it will be make your headache. Yeah, yeah. And then they have addicted. It is. So when you uh, travel to the Karunis uh, place, <laughs> the mother maybe will be eating like that. And when they are married, all the mothers are eating like this. Brown sugar. You you want to try sugar? Yeah. And then uh, this is a uh, natural uh, brown. If we not yet mix with the uh, anything, it's a sweet taste. Yeah, you can drink. No, no, it's pure from the palm. Uh, yeah. So it is. The taste uh, uh, sweet. The taste. Yeah, it is. Okay, forget what. Yeah. This village is also located by the river, and right on the riverbank, we find the powerful and friendly creatures that brought us here. There are currently nine adult elephants and two babies living in the Tanga Khan Elephant Sanctuary. They are cared for by specialist caregivers, and when you pay the entry fee, all of which helps support the sanctuary, you can spend the day with an elephant. You can bathe elephants in the river, feed them their favorite snacks, or explore the jungle with your new leathery friend. Nah, 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 nah,
Darah kanan ini setelan Shower Kiss Lunch Photographs Who wouldn't fall in love with these gentle giants? Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to these gentle giants. We're heading north to Atsek province. Sumatra is one of the Sunda Islands of Western Indonesia. It is the largest island located exclusively in Indonesian territory and is the sixth largest island in the world at approximately 470,000 kilometers squared. The ride takes nine hours, and even the view of the beautiful volcanic peaks does not stave off fatigue. Sinabung Volcano is a stratovolcano on the Karo Plateau in northern Sumatra, 40 kilometers from the Lake Toba supervolcano. This volcano is still active and has erupted frequently in recent memory. On June 26, 2015, a particularly big eruption meant that at least 10,000 people were evacuated to limit fatality. One year later, in the May 2016 eruption, seven people were killed by deadly pyroclastic flow. Unfortunately, nature's worst enemy is still the human race. This is self-evident when looking at the destruction left behind after the sustained logging of a tropical forest, all for the purpose of a monocultural palm oil plantation. In Sumatra, tens of thousands of square kilometers of forest have been destroyed. Often, concessions are given to palm oil companies from central government that grant them power to conduct this deforestation. Palm oil industry is growing in demand and thus output. Palm oil and palm-based ingredients are found in more than 50% of common consumer products, from shampoo and lipstick to packaged bread and ice cream. Indonesia is the largest producer of palm oil across the world and is rapidly expanding its plantations and workforce to meet a growing global demand. Deforestation has massive environmental and social impacts. 2.5 metric tons of effluent or liquid waste is made for every metric ton of palm oil that is produced. Pesticide and herbicide use is a common practice among palm oil plantations, including the use of paraquat, a herbicide banned throughout Europe, which can cause additional issues for downstream water pollution. Deforestation creates a destructive reduction in biodiversity, which alters entire ecosystems upon which endangered species rely. Animals particularly at risk are Sumatran elephants, tigers, rhinoceros, and the various species of orangutan that can only be found in the forests of Sumatra. Some of these animals, like the orangutan, are arboreal and try to stay in the trees whenever possible. Sadly, they are often burned alive during the slash and burn of forests. We head into the rainforest yet again, this time to Katambe. A jungle trek is a must. Seeing orangutans in the wild is a bucket list activity. It may be one of the best experiences you will have in your entire life. The Sumatran orangutan is one of three species of orangutans on the planet. Found only in the northern regions of the Indonesian island of Sumatra, they are even rarer than the Bornean orangutan, but more common than the rare, recently identified Tapanuli orangutan. This time, 
The walking is strenuous and requires a lot of physical constitution. Can I just sit here for a minute? Yes. Okay. The heat and humidity make it even more difficult to hike in the jungle. So having enough to drink is essential. I see the young look lower. The young. Yeah. And bigger like that, the big one. That is still young. Uh -huh. I come from the big tree, fall down. Hornbills are also inhabitants of this rainforest. Maybe some hornbills will respond to the whistles of our guide. Let's see. From there is we can go down, flat, down, down, down. We really are lucky. The green vegetation of the rainforest stands aside to give us a glimpse of a hairy silhouette. Careful observation can reveal even deeper details of the jungle, which are often overlooked. Like a hungry makaki from earlier, we are enticed by the smell of food in the air, and soon we see a real jungle kitchen. <laughs> It's lunchtime. You like jungle? Yes. What are you cooking? I'm cooking for the local people. Oh. Okay, me. You see animal at yes. long time? Yes. Yeah. Cooked over an open fire, with fresh ingredients. This is absolutely mouth-watering. Training, come, and then a uh, little bit of uh, big uh, water, yeah? and then still have uh, like a local people sleep uh, in the, like uh, make it the, the tent. Yeah? Not so far eh, with the water, two meter, yeah. And then local people with the guys scare, wake up, wake up. And then packing, yeah. They pack everything, piece of everything, yeah. And then put in the plastic, and then wake up. <laughs> Make it the chain again for the sleep. Wow. Although it's tempting to rest after lunch, we must go on. Showtime! In the tree canopy, a mother orangutan hides with a baby, and fascinated by her skill, we quietly follow her as she moves from branch to branch. Soon, a powerful male joins her, and the show culminates. sometimes almost by the knees, and along narrow paths, on slippery trunks, and a little more uphill. Our guide eventually brings us back to civilization. Well, almost. <laughs>
<laughs> Since the trek through the jungle was so unforgettable, we decide to repeat it. We are alone this time. Our destination is a mysterious waterfall somewhere in the forest. Even the path to it is hidden and challenging, but the effort finally pays off. We are enchanted by the view of this magnificent rock wall, surrounded by green tropical plants, all of which glows with dazzling rays of tropical sunshine. Water sprinkles through the palette of forest colors and completes this beautiful moment in the wilderness. We are truly alone. We forget about time, the world we come from, and simply enjoy what lies before us. Ketambe is a small and peaceful city in the southernmost part of Aceh. In the 1970s, the Indonesian government sought to increase its influence in the region by constructing a hotel and, in addition to Bukit Lawang, Ketambe became the official entrance to the Gunung Loiza National Park. Although we cannot call our place of residence a hotel, it is still wonderful. Small jungle houses surrounded by greenery and colorful flowers. The bed is large and comfortable. The interior of the bungalow offers only the basics, but the surrounding area gives you the feeling of being in the middle of the jungle. Dining is also special. And because we're in the jungle, the night has a special power. Some more people speak English, English speaking, but mostly English. So we just have to. Yeah, just go along it. <laughs> okay. This time, it's not a tuk tuk. It's a lobby lobby. Public transportation is unusual, and a new experience is calling. Alongside motorcycles, lobby lobby are the most widely used vehicle. Women lean into the inside of a rusty and often makeshift vehicle, while men climb straight up onto the roof. The uncomfortable ride is always accompanied by loud music playing from big speakers. Kutichane is a town in the Aceh province of Indonesia and is the seat of the southeast Aceh Regency. Kutichane is a fairly large city with about 100,000 inhabitants. Our tropical forest exploration is over. We are moving forward. This time, we are heading south. A nine-hour drive through colorful villages, past rice fields. The green hills are exhausting. However, we cannot wait to reach our destination. One of Sumatra's greatest natural wonders waits for us. Lake Toba is located in the middle of the northern part of the island of Sumatra, with a surface elevation above sea level of about 900 meters. The lake is 100 kilometers long, 30 kilometers wide, and 505 meters deep. In the middle is a small island called Samasir. 
It is included in the UNESCO Global Geopark. It is special because of its inhabitants, the Batak people, originating from Myanmar and Thailand. For centuries, the Bataks lived in isolation and were one of Sumatra's most warlike people, remaining faithful to cannibalism until the early 19th century, when they also formally adopted Christianity. Lake Toba is the site of a massive supervolcanic eruption which is estimated to have occurred 74,000 years ago, a scar caused by a climate-changing event. It is the largest known explosive eruption on Earth in the last 25 million years. Zoe's Paradise. After two weeks in the rainforest, the luxury we have here is so very welcome. Lake Toba is one of the most visited locations in Sumatra. This is reflected in the hotel offerings, which are very diverse here. Our hotel has everything we need. It really is a pleasure to be with friendly hosts. Enjoy, Thank Beautiful Zoe is located in the center of a small village with an interesting name, Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk is the center for tourists who spend their nights on the island of Samasir, as it offers many hotels, villas, cafes and shops with traditional Batak wooden products. In the evenings, tourists can enjoy traditional Batak music and dance performances. Boats and canoes are available to hire at the Water Sports Centre. You can also rent a bike or scooter to explore local villages and the surrounding area. Tuk Tuk takes us from Tuk Tuk village to the village of Tomok. A narrow street full of locals draws us into it. <laughs> the variety of goods is inviting, and through the crowded stalls, we slowly make our way towards the Batak Museum. King and Queen. The Tomok Batak Museum is one of the attractions on the island of Samasir, located at the end of the Tomok village. The museum is one complex, comprised of the tomb of King Siddhabutar and the Sigalgal statue. It is beautiful and very unique, utilizing the shape of a Batak traditional house built mainly out of wood. You can see products of the Batak culture illustrating the lives of past Bataks. On the island of Samosir, there is a slightly different museum to the Batak Museum. It is a whole museum village with wonderful village houses. They put lay down here and then they put chili and lime in the body because long time ago, Batak people full of the black magic. Yeah. That's why they put chili on lime to come out the black magic. After that, 
they put all fair and all, and then they bang three times with this magic stick to him. After that, uh, they put here, they bring here. Then the behind the hand and then soft like this. Nice. That's the story. However, Batak houses are not a thing of the past. Batak people on Lake Toba still live in houses like these today. How do we know this? We are convinced when we visit a real village. Long time ago, if many kids, they're rich because they help each other, yeah. everything, to go to the rice field, to make house. The Toba Batak people live in permanent villages and cultivate their own irrigated rice and vegetables. Irrigated rice cultivation can support a large population and the Toba live in densely clustered villages of around 10 homes each to save farming land. All of these villages are located near watercourses and fields. The colors used in designs are red, white and black. The red signifies a zest for life and is the color seen in traditional wedding clothes. Black is the color of death while white represents the color of God's holiness. Ornamentation is very important in Batak houses. Ah, they cook here to make it dry, the wood. Let's use it for the toilet. Oh, Long time ago. really? It's true, yeah. And yeah, every Batak house they have this one. Also this one, the cross they make it mean the ghost not come in, what mm -hmm. Batak people believe. Yeah. Also me I believe that long time ago, also me I'm really scared to go outside long time ago. <laughs> we believe like a ghost. And this rice. And most of them they're sleeping here, they make here with their old mattress. Mm -hmm. This is use it normally special to keep for the food and the cat no eat mm. like this and the food under. You see, most people sleeping here. The mattress, you know, that's all. Yeah, they make it like this long time ago from this factory. The houses are constructed from wood and bamboo using ijuk fibers for binding and for the thatched roofs. Do people still here collect the bones from yes. the rest? Yes. Yeah, I can explain a little later on yeah. about the grave. When the Batak people die, yeah. we take out again and yeah. then we put in the small box mm -hmm. and then we put the in three floor of the grave, mm -hmm. the small Batak house. Traditionally, each house would have had a rice barn granary opposite, which would be a complementary row of buildings in the village. The street formed between the row of houses and the row of rice barn granaries is used as an area to facilitate the drying of rice. Holy tree. So most people here at the end, we do sacrifice. Sometimes we put like sarong all around, we put some cigarette. Also here we do sacrifice, we make rice cake, everybody praying long time ago. And this also, the leaf, we can cook as well. If you are sick, we take the leaf when you're cooking, the color red, so we can make this mandi. Oh. It's like a medicine for Batak people long time ago. They call this nabar. It's not easy to cut this one tree. If you want to cut, must we talk to somebody, special mm. man. If we go just straight and then cut it, maybe you are falling or you are sick. This tree, no easy just, I have to cut this, no. Must we talk to somebody. Also, this, they use this also for tree, use it for the funeral, for oh. cooking. The wood. This is called holy tree in Batak people. So every village they have this also. Every village. Every it is in every village. They have this one. one. Yeah. Tree. Yes. Lake Toba and the island of Samosir that we are exploring are the heart of the Batak's culture. The life of Batak people, however, is intertwined deeply with tradition and coexistence with nature. You know, I collect this tree, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I 
to, they make it broken earth. They take many oil, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is from the long time ago, Suharto. This one, ugly. I don't like this one. Long time ago, they cut the original tree, you know, from president. So they, they're growing this one, this eucalyptus. They have water from here to house. Cleaning clothes, see? Mm. Also buffalo swimming also here. This is where time stopped. In these difficult living conditions, coffee plantations and rice fields are the only means of survival. Lake Sidohini, a speciality of the island of Samosir, or, as locals say, a lake within a lake. Our host takes us on a tour of this mighty volcanic crater. We drive on the crest of the volcano, which is still active, and the smell of sulfur fills our nostrils. Many rice here. Do all the work with the hands? Yes. Don't use any machines? No. Oh my God. Rice fields. Mighty hills. And the most beautiful panoramic view. Lake Toba and its surroundings are magical, just like the whole of Sumatra. An island of extinct species, mighty volcanic peaks and rainforest. An island of opposites, an island of humanity, an island of magic.